Yo, what's up guys? You're back with your man, Tech Nick, your go-to guy for videos on the latest tech. Now today it's about the latest tech. Once again, I have eight monstrous phones over here. The first being the Redmi K20 Pro here with eight gigs of RAM and a Snapdragon 855 processing chip. There is no modes for optimization here, so we're just gonna jump straight into Antutu. Then we have the Mi 9 with the same specs, 855 chipset and eight gigs of RAM. And this also has no performance mode on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into Antutu as well. Then we have the Lenovo Z6 Pro over here, and this indeed also has eight gigs of RAM and a Snapdragon 855 chipset, and it does indeed have a performance mode known as game mode here to boost it a bit and we're going to go ahead and jump into Antutu. Then the ZTE Axon 10 Pro over here has 6 gigs of RAM and a Snapdragon 855 chipset and there are no performance modes over here so we're going to jump straight into Antutu as well. Then the Nubia Red Magic 3 over here has 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage with a Snapdragon 855 chipset and it has this wonderful like game overlay tab over here which does utilize LED effects and the intake and outtake fan over there for cooler performance and we're going to jump into Antutu through that. Then we're going to go ahead and and show you guys the OnePlus 7 Pro over here with the massive 12 gigs of RAM and I've also gone ahead and changed things to Full HD to match the others and kept that 90 Hz fluidity on since the Nubia Red Magic 3 cannot change that. I'll also be using Frantic mode on Antutu here and by the way this has a Snapdragon 855 processing chip as well. Then we have the Galaxy S10 5G over here, this has 8 gigs of RAM and the Exynos 9820 variant over here, this is not a Snapdragon variant. Now I've also gone ahead and changed the resolution through power mode over here using high performance mode and when you do apply it here what it does is it makes sure that there are no limitations on the CPU and GPU speeds we're going to jump into Antutu as well then this is the Nova 5 Pro over here and it is paired with 8 gigs of RAM and a Kirin 980 chipset the first 7 nanometer chip around I've also enabled performance mode since it gives it quite a big boost these are all incredible phones to say the least guys and without further ado let's go Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start them up in pairs here. So if you guys wanna see which are quicker between each other, you're gonna go ahead and look at the two devices simultaneously that are next to each other since they are eight here, so work in even numbers. I also just made sure there that all the brightnesses are maxed out to keep things as even as possible here, guys. So I have put a percentage on how fast the clip is currently going at the bottom of the screen over there. As you guys can see, it is at 400% faster or else we would be here for a hell of a long time. Since I do want to speak to you guys about some of the degrees at the end of the test, which is the battery degrees in Celsius, as well as the CPU degrees in Celsius to see how hot things got while these phones did run one solid test of Antutu. Just to make sure that things were even as well, I did clear the data on all of them and I have disabled all battery optimizers as well and made sure that Antutu will run in the background no matter what happens. Now unfortunately with the Accent 10 Pro I could not enable the full screen mode with Antutu actually with any apps so you see that ugly bar at the top and the Nubia Red Magic 3 does not have any notches whatsoever as well as the OnePlus 7 Pro. So the reason why I have put that 400% faster at the bottom here is because when we go into fluidity later I'm going to slow things down quite a bit so that you guys can see the difference between 60 hertz and 90 hertz panels the 90 hertz being the nubia red magic 3 and the oneplus 7 pro so i thought that would be a little bit interesting to include so let me know what you guys think of that in the comment section down below now we're going to go down to 200 percent faster so half of this on the fluidity over here so that you guys can see the differences between the phones we're still waiting for a couple others to catch up as well as the s10 5g it is a little bit slow over there but as you guys can see now we're going 50 percent slow over here we had 100 now 75 percent slower you guys can see that things are a lot smoother with those 90 hertz refresh rate panels in the middle to the right over there which is the Nubia and 90% slower you can see the OnePlus is about to kick in now as well and you'll see that the Nubia and OnePlus are pretty much matched and the others are a lot slower when it comes to fluidity here now we're gonna jump back up to 400% faster for the remainder of the test until we hit those results over there because these are some boring parts over here guys now they're all doing pretty well and you can see that the ones that are started up first on the left there are going a little bit quicker but I am impressed to see that the Accent 10 Pro is going pretty quick now as well and the Samsung is just slugging behind over there at the end and even the Nova 5 Pro beats it even though it has a newer chip. Then in first place we have the Nubia Red Magic 3 with 380,000 of a score on Antutu. I'm impressed with this though it did do better in my last test and some people report that it has hit those 400% 
400,000 in score, but nevertheless, it did pretty great. Then in second place, I was surprised by the ZTE Accent 10 Pro with only six gigs of RAM with 374,000 points over there. I was really impressed with that one, guys. I can't tell you, it just, it mind boggles me. But nevertheless, then in third, we have the K20 Pro over here with 375,000 points over here, guys. It did pretty great as well. And then in fourth, we have the Xiaomi Mi 9. And now uh, this is not very far behind the K20 Pro since they do share the same MIUI 10 software. I was expecting similar things here. In fifth place, we have the OnePlus 7 Pro, guys, and it is sitting at 368k in points over there. Not too far behind the rest, though I would have expected a little bit higher with that 12 gigs of RAM. Then in sixth place, we have the Lenovo Z6 Pro with 8 gigs of RAM over here, and it got 363k points, all pretty similar with the Snapdragon units. Then in seventh place, we have the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G with its Exynos 9820 chip. So I was expecting things to be a little lower, but not that much lower with 334,000 points. And then I was pretty impressed with the Kirin 980 on the Nova 5 Pro since previous chips barely scraped 300k points and this hit 310. I'm really impressed. This is one of the best with Huawei. Once again, the optimization just really does handle the phone well. Now we're going to move over to some heating over here and looking at the battery you can see 36% on the K20, well 36 degrees on the K20 Pro, Xiaomi 36,2 degrees, 35,5 degrees on the Z6 Pro, 37,7 degrees on the Accent 10 Pro, 35,7 degrees on the Nubia Red Magic 3, 34,8 degrees on the OnePlus, 38,7 degrees on the S10 being the hottest and 34 degrees on the Nova 5 being the lowest. Then CPU we have 39 on the K20 Pro, 38 on the Mi 9 a little bit lower than that. The Z6 Pro at 36 degrees, which has really impressed me. The Axon was really hot at 45 degrees in CPU, 38 degrees with the Nubia Red Magic 3. I was expecting it to be a little bit better because of that fan and liquid cooling pipe. 37 degrees on the 7 Pro, which did pretty well, and the Samsung being the hottest at 48 degrees, and the coolest being the Nova 5 Pro once again at 34 degrees. I'm really impressed with that one, guys, and all of these phones did absolutely incredible in this test. I can't tell you how much I enjoyed doing this test for you guys, and until next time, guys, this is Technic.